Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, this is part two of the body plot series. So I would highly recommend you to watch uh, part one uh, so you can see um, how we are going to do the body plot series. That example is just two terms, uh, two parts. In this example, we are going to uh, solve for a transfer function of three three parts or three terms so that's how we're gonna do it until we get to the more complicated ones so in this example uh, we are asked to draw the body diagram for 10 s over s plus 1000 so again first things first what we're gonna do is simplify the transfer function to the lowest order uh, of unity, meaning um, we're going to need to take out um, 10 for the numerator, and then the numerator, uh, denominator, we're going to take out a 1,000. So this will be s over 1,000 plus 1. So in order for you to make sure that you get it right, just plug it back in and cancel out. It has to be the same thing as the original equation. That's how you check yourself. So if I cancel 1000 out here, it's going to be S. And then if I multiply out, it's going to be 1000. So it's going to be, so this is exactly the same equation as this one. Okay. So that's step number one. Step number two is to identify your parts. Again, I was telling you earlier that we have three parts here and that's because I've seen this example already, but uh, you have to know what your parts are. You usually have one of these. It's not only these, but these are the simpler ones. I mean, you have like, you can have conjugate ones, etc., but we, we haven't touched those yet. So you can either have a constant, a pole at origin, zero origin, real pole or real zero. So in this case, what do we have? We know we have a constant. Reason why you're doing this is because for each term, you're gonna draw the body plot and then sum them together. So we have a constant here, which is a 10, right? Over a thousand, because this is what your constant is. So that's one over a hundred. We have a zero at origin. How do I know that? It's because my numerator for my zeros, I have to equal the numerator to zero. So I have s equal zero. If I had an s plus one, then I will equate that to zero. But I don't. So that's why it's zero at origin, okay? And then uh, for my poles, which are the terms at the bottom of the denominator, I equate that to zero. So I have a real pole here, real pole, which is the equation S over thousand plus one equal to zero. Then, of course, I should have used different colors for these, but that's okay. S equal uh, minus one, 1,000. So now we can start drawing. Let's use different colors here. So how do I draw a constant for any body plots? For a constant, my magnitude is just 20 log of the constant. So for the constant, I only have twenty log of my constant. My constant here is one over a hundred, and this is base ten, of course. So twenty log of one over one hundred. This is minus forty. 
dB per decade. I mean, yes, dB per decade. So then how do I draw that? It's just a constant. Um, my dB is on the left-hand side, and my omega is in, um, in the middle here. So for a constant of minus 40, I just draw a straight line, just like you would draw, you know, regular scale of a constant. So this is my constant at minus 40 dB. So you draw a straight line, constant. So this is for my constant. Um, minus 40 dB. Let's use a different color for the next term. Again, how many terms do I have? I have three terms, a constant, zero at origin, and real pole, based on the transfer function. So I drew the uh, the constant already. Let's draw the zero, zero at origin. What do I have here? For my notes, um, if you want to memorize this, you can go ahead and memorize it, but um, if it's open book exam or whatnot, then you can just look it up. So, but the more you practice, you know, the more it, it would become second nature for you. So zero at origin is telling me that um, it's 20 dB per decade passing through zero at omega equals one. So omega equals one, this is zero, passing through zero, right here the line, omega equals one. And then what's the slope? I have a plus 20 slope. A 20 slope would be around here, passing through one. So let's just do dot, 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 so so that, so it's gonna be about like, oh, um, gonna have to bear with me here for my drawing skills. Um, I cannot draw a straight line. But it's gonna go through here. With a 20, ooh, 20 slope passing through one at zero. So this is my zero at origin. Let me just extend that so I can write here. So zero right here. So my constant is this one, my zero at origin. So this is plus 20 dB per decade, and that's what we have here. Plus 20 dB per decade passing through zero dB at omega equals one. Omega equals one passing through zero dB plus 20 uh, slope, 20 slope. And then my last term here is a real pole. So I'm gonna draw my real pole. What does my real pole say? My real pole says to draw low frequency asymptote at zero dB, draw it at minus 20 dB at omega zero, omega zero. So omega zero is 1000, so this is 1000. So it's gonna pass through here. What is, so draw it at zero until you hit omega zero, and then you have a negative slope. So um, zero dB until you hit omega zero, which is 1,000. As soon as you hit 1,000, then I have a negative slope of, that was almost straight. Ooh, okay. So this is my real pole at minus, 20 dB and so um, 
the body plot, the final body plot now is going to be the sum of all these three terms. So um, let's change color here. Uh, let's use yellow. So then I'm going to start adding. Um, I'm going to start adding my terms. So what do I have here? I have a, I have a um, red, um, red line here. So this is zero. So I don't, I practically don't have to worry about this one at this point, really. But um, I have uh, plus 20. This is a constant at minus 40. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the same slope because plus 20 slope and a zero slope is going to be 20 slope. So I know for a fact that my draw, uh, my line would be going up, right? But where do I start? I'm going to shift it to minus 40 because this is here you have a zero. So here I have a minus 40. So you're going to go ahead and um, so you're going to have to draw a um, plus 20 dB hitting one here because that's where you know the next point is so I know I'm gonna hit here at one and then it's gonna be plus 20 dB because plus 20 dB plus 0 dB is obviously 20 dB so then um, it's gonna be pair like uh, minus uh, you know a 20 dB slope so it's almost like you're shifting it so let's assume that, you know, this is minus 60, about here, minus 80. And this is not drawn to scale, but I just want to kind of show you. So if you had a, like an engineering scale, it would probably, woohoo. Okay. That's almost straight. Not, not really, but let me, let me, let me attempt to redraw that because it, Otherwise, you won't make sense. All right. Let's try again. All right. Almost, almost, almost. You get the point. So this has got to be plus 20 dB per decade, right? And then because here you have a one here, okay? That's the first one. Your next point here is a thousand. So I'm going to do something about it. So you're adding the green line to the blue line to the red line the red line is already zero so you're gonna go all the way up until you hit the next point which is a thousand so at thousand what do we have at a thousand here? We have a, uh, this is a 20 dB slope with a minus dB slope plus 20 plus 20 minus 20, that's zero. So then the final is going to be just a straight line because you have zero slope. So the yellow is the final, final body plot. So again, let's recap here. Uh, first step is to simplify the transfer function to unity. Sec step number two is to determine your terms. And step number three is to draw each term according to, you know, if it's positive slope, negative slope, it's got to go through zero dB, you know, whatever, whatever it is based on, um, you know, this table here. And then your final step number four is adding the different plots, right? So in this case, we have a zero here plus dB and then minus 40. So the slope is going to be still 20 dB, but shifted to minus 40. And that's what we draw here. So we're going up, up, up all the way to we hit the next point, which is a thousand, and um, we start adding again. What are we adding? We adding a twenty plus dB slope 
and then minus 20 dB that's 0 and that's my final uh, final plot all right I hope that uh, helps a little bit clear uh, about how to draw body plot uh, body plots so let me know if you have any questions in the in the comment section thank you and see you at the next video